All right, welcome back everyone. Dr. Ben, not a real doctor here. And let's talk about sun exposure and vitamin D. Vitamin D is an interesting vitamin among the vitamins we know about because we actually have the ability to produce vitamin D under very, uh, under very specific circumstances. And that circumstance is sunshine on the skin, which is one of my favorite things in the whole wide world. If I wouldn't turn the color of a lobster, I would just lay in the sun all day long. So the UV radiation, uh, the UV radiation from the sun it reacts with our skin to produce vitamin D. The, the basis for vitamin D is processed in the liver and kidneys, and then we have the ability to hold up to about six months of vitamin D. And theoretically, that's because in the winter there's less UV radiation, so we need a stockpile of vitamin D. And vitamin D is fat soluble. So you have water soluble vitamins and fat soluble vitamins. Vitamin D is absorbed with fat. So in the developed world, We'll say in the US, there's a huge problem of vitamin D deficiency. I've heard anywhere from 40 to 85% of people, but I think the CDC number is 40% of adults are vitamin D deficient. Now, this is a big problem because vitamin D has a lot to do with gene expression, calcium and uh, absorption, bone density, stuff like that. So if you're familiar with vitamin D deficiency, that's called rickets and it happens in the third world and it ends up with kids having really, really deformed bones. It's very sad. So to offset the lack of sun exposure in the US, many foods are fortified with vitamin D. But as I said, there is one problem with fortification that you have to pay attention to. All right. Fat free. One of my favorite things that I think is absolutely hilarious that is fortified with vitamin D is fat free milk. Because if you just have a glass of milk, you are not getting any of that vitamin D. It's kind of assumed that you're gonna have it with something else. But the interesting thing about vitamin D production is that your body will stop producing vitamin D once it has enough vitamin D. Whereas if you're getting vitamin D from fortified sources or supplementation, you can actually get too much vitamin D and end up with vitamin D toxicity. Not possible from too much sun exposure, that's just a sunburn. So in order to get your body to produce vitamin D, you need to get sun on your body, as much of your body as possible, regularly, preferably daily. And the darker your skin is, the more sun exposure you need. So if you're a pasty pale, blonde hair, blue eyed boy, it doesn't take very long, I, you can get adequate vitamin D production in 10 to 20 minutes of sun exposure. If you are super, super, super dark skinned, you might need hours in the sun to get enough vitamin D. And that's because of where those, those melanin, those pigment amounts developed evolutionarily. Lighter skin is where there is less sun or not as intense sun, so we need to make uh, better use of vitamin D production. And where the skin is darker, there's a lot more sunshine, of the sun is much more intense, and you're in the sun all day, so you don't need as much vitamin D production. Now there is another trick to getting vitamin D production from sun exposure, and it goes a little something like this. Hey, what are you doing? I'm taking a shower. Didn't you just lay out for like an hour trying to get more vitamin D? Yep, sure did. Yeah, well, don't, don't wash down with soap. You're going to wash it all off. Huh? No, seriously, man. Like, it takes like 48 hours to absorb your vitamin D. If you wash with soap, you're going to wash it all down the drain. No way, dude. I had no idea. Happy shower. Appreciate the heads up. That's right. If you shower with soap too soon after laying in the sun, you're going to wash all that vitamin D off. It's important to let it sit on your skin so that you, your body can make use and absorb that vitamin D. There are some tricks that you can use. You can do something like an oil bath, with the, which is just rubbing oil on your skin and then wiping it off. That'll pull the dirt and grime off. Uh, you can also just wash with water and use soap on the key bits, you know, the key bits. 
Now, as for food sources for vitamin D, fatty fish appears to be the best option, but there's not a lot of good options for food that is high in vitamin D. So your best bet is regular sun exposure, another way the modern world is setting you up for failure. Uh, try and pri prioritize the afternoon sun, the 10 to 2 period where the sun is in the most intense. That's when you're going to get the most benefit from the UV radiation because it is the most intense. If you have a propensity to burn, I do not use sunscreen. It's pretty rare that I put it on. I'm a little bit more old school in how I prevent sunburns. If I start to feel myself burning, I just cover up. Uh, if you're, you're, Once your skin starts to turn like a light shade of pink, you're at the spot where your body has gotten all it can get out of the UV radiation for the day. It's time to cover up, get out of the sun, do something else. If you are going to supplement vitamin D, I recommend vitamin D3. It's harder to end up with the toxicity and your body makes better use of it. I also recommend regular vitamin D testing if you are going to supplement because again, you can take too much of it and it's not good for you. There is a quick overview of getting in the sun, making vitamin D, and being healthier. That's all I got for today. If you guys have any tips or tricks for sunshine avoidance, uh, put it down in the comments below. I mentioned I do occasionally wear sunscreen. I'll show, I'll do a video here in the near future of homemade sunscreen that I make for myself, uh, as well as some homemade lotions and oils that I make for myself for skin care. That's coming soon. If you liked the video, smash that thumbs up button. If you know somebody who could use this information, share the video with them. If you haven't already subscribed, please consider subscribing. And until next time, keep your life in motion. Go get some sun.